Well, hello, Wei fam. Hello, From Chuck Chuck Market here in Bangkok, Thailand. If you watched our last video, you'll know we explained a little bit about this market. It is the largest weekend market in the world. Giant. And Amazing. Ashley has come up with an idea about how we're gonna spend our time here. So we've done shopping challenges in the past. We've done one in Japan and we've done one in Bali and you guys, love them so we thought that we'd maybe put a little twist on the normal shopping challenges that we do being competitive we don't i i win all the time and josh just seems upset about it i Every know time. you do not win all the time <laughs> you're too sensitive to do because i love gift giving <laughs> So like I get her something that I'm really thoughtful about and then she's like, ah, it's okay. But we thought maybe we would do something a little different. We're gonna do a giveaway for you guys. Josh is gonna go out with $10 equivalent Thai bot. 300 baht. Okay, and I'm gonna go out with 300 baht and we're going to try to find two different giveaway gift boxes for you guys. We're gonna Wait, run Wait, are we making two boxes or we're combining ours into one box? No, we're gonna do two. Okay. So two people can win. Two people can win, guys. So what we're gonna do is just go off individually and find items that we can ship to you guys. This is a huge market. I think you should vote in the comments who wins on this one. <laughs> That's probably gonna yeah. be the thing. This market you can barter, but they do have prices everywhere, so it kind of helps with the starting point, as well as um, at the end, we'll tell you guys how you can win. So stick around till the end so that you know how you can win these gift boxes. Are you ready? Oh, I don't want May any the best. of this. I don't want any of this. May the best person win. So I win. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sipping our coffees, de devising how we're gonna go ahead and order stuff. We don't want each other to know, like, no, what like we're doing. she's already said one thing that she's gonna get, but now she can't I didn't get it say probably. I was gonna get it because I was you just told me. It out there. Uh -huh. We try to throw each other off, so Josh is like, I, I know, know my, what aesthetic. my aesthetic is, and I was like, aesthetic? What the frick? So she's making guesses, <laughs> and she's she's wrong. And the other thing is that it has to be like any gender. Any has to be able to any gender, it. male, female, anywhere in between. So that makes it a little tricky. Plus, we have only one hour because some of these stalls are already closing. So we gotta get to it. Sip okay. our okay. coffee up. Okay, hurry, go, go for it. <laughs> okay, here is 300 baht. Oh my gosh. That's about 10 US dollars, and yeah. that should be able to get you one or two things. Unless you get small things, then you can do like five or something, I don't know. See what we can do with this money. I'm headed off. Wish me luck. Okay, bye. Good luck. <laughs> On my way, there's so much to look at here, and I have, I, I actually have no clue what I'm gonna get. <gasps> I'm actually really nervous that Josh has a better idea because he has an idea. Ashley has gone out, and I don't, I have no idea what she's getting. So I don't know if she's gonna go for like bathroom stuff. She also thought that I was gonna do something perfume based. So maybe that's what she's doing, I don't know. I'm gonna do an art aesthetic. I think it'd be really cool to get like stationery and art that is Thai themed. So I'm gonna go up to section seven, which I think has like handicrafts and art, as well as sections eight through something that has more handicraft stuff. We're gonna see what they have. Fingers crossed, I, I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Okay, this is section seven, road 63, and already, look, I mean, there's some cool bulls. Oh, Ashley actually mentioned bulls too. I hope she's not like behind me somewhere. I mean, already. Look at that. We're finding cool stuff already. The hardest part about this market is there are so many things and I want to get a lay of the land to see like what's around and what I could get. But the hard part is going back and finding it again because it's so giant. I feel like I'm just going to get lost in that, not remember where the thing is that I like. So if I like something and I think it's good, then I'm just going to have to get it immediately because who knows if I'll ever find it again. Looks like I'm in the, the clothing area, which is not necessarily what I'm interested in. Lots of snack choices I could get. Some kiwi, um, dried papaya, dried pineapple, pomelo peel, which is something we don't have in the US. So many different things I could send you guys. Okay, I am seeing a ton of really cool art, but 
that wasn't my idea. My idea wasn't to buy art. It was to buy stuff to sort of make stuff from, like stationery or art supplies, that sort of thing. I'm not finding it. So I think section seven is a bust. I'm gonna try and go for section eight and eight through 10, which is I think right across that street. Okay, I just came across this sign and it looks like, what do we have here? Section eight is carving spa and no, that's, that's not right. That's section seven, art and painting. Where, do they have anything like postcards, souvenirs? Handi oh, here you go, handicrafts. 27 through 28, that could be good. And I am right here, so I need to go, oh wow. The complete opposite end, okay. Well, let's go for it. Oh man, I would love to get you guys a tea set. This is amazing. How cool would it be to have this? I just feel like these are so unique. So pretty, but could I get it to you without breaking? Love the colors. Okay, I got yelled at for taking video. Oops. <laughs> I really love these little chimes. But they're 220 baht. That's almost my whole budget. They're so cute though. They make the cutest little chime. We gotta keep an eye on the time because we only have an hour to find what we want. The hard part is, is that a lot of the vendors are going to shut down. They're already starting to shut down. If I remember correctly, this is it. 20, or is it 24 or 34? I think I failed. I cannot find at all what I was looking for, which was sort of like arts and crafts and stationery, things to like make stuff. It looks like it's all pre-made things, so there goes that plan. I have no idea what to do now. I, I guess I just wait till I see something cool. I don't really have much time to come up with another idea for something. I just need to see if anything looks cool and then buy it. My guess for what Josh is gonna get you guys is like that stuff it's like a soap or a lupa. I didn't want to guess it there because it would have upset him <laughs> but I'm guessing that's what he's gonna get. Relax, enjoy. It's good for anyone. Oh man these lupas are so cute. Oh they're adorable. Who doesn't like a good bath bomb? So many bath bombs in so many colors. Look this even comes with a little soap and a bath bomb and a candle and a lupa. What? Wouldn't it be cool to get a little magnet? Then you guys can put it on your fridge and think of us all the time. I don't know, I think it's cute. So the next section I popped into just has a ton of clothing, shoes, and handicrafts. One of the main issues I'm running into though is that, you know, for things like clothes, it matters what size you wear. And so I can't, I can't just buy someone a pair of shorts, you know? for this crop top. That's that down to personal style and fit. Oops, excuse me. Like this. So many cool things, but I mean, how am I to know who's gonna win this gift box? Oh man, I, I'm, having, I'm having a hard time here. Okay, I almost gave up and just bought some clothing like this, but it was 3,000, which is about 10 times more than my budget. It's super gorgeous and pretty much anyone could wear it um, within a given size range. It's like it's a cover up. Oh, that was so cool, but way out of price range. Dang. My time is halfway over and I'm getting nervous. So I'm gonna go back to the one thing that I really liked. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're still open and it's still there. As well as hopefully they'll take a lower price. I'm gonna try and barter for it. I hate bartering. I hate like, I don't know, I just don't like it. It makes me really nervous and um, so we'll see how I do. I'll probably end up paying like, the same price or a tiny, tiny bit lower. <laughs> so all these ones are beautiful. Wow, 276 baht for this. Pretty cool. I was on the way to get something else and now I really like those and that's about the same price as the other things. So I don't know what to get. Ah, the pressure of the time and getting something that I want to get you something that's from Thailand and like kind of in companies like incorporates like Thailand and so it's not like something that you can get anywhere is it's really hard it's a lot of pressure uh, so I can pick pick one of these to go on here like uh like like this yeah any uh, words yeah yeah uh the airplane here I don't know how 
Josh is gonna beat this one. Sorry, Josh. Pass and pass. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. Pass and pass. I think that that worked out perfect. I actually failed at bartering because I didn't end up going back to the place that I wanted to because I found these amazing items that I'm super excited about. Sorry, Josh. I'm sorry, you just, you lost already. <laughs> but man, that was so cool. I'm so excited for one of you to take these home and enjoy them. Oh my gosh, so many people getting massages in there. <laughs> but I, I, I'm so excited that these are the items that I gotta choose. I gotta go through the whole process. It's, it's 5.55 right now, so I'm actually, I need to run and meet Josh. I think that maybe I'll stop and get one of those magnets for you guys, because I really liked them, as long as I can re-find that shop before my time's up. Okay, I didn't quite give up, but I did get something. I easily play myself down for gift giving because I really want to be thoughtful. Of course, who am I to know who's gonna get this? So I can't really be thoughtful, I have to put that out of my head, but I'm happy with it. It's just not my idea, my original plan. Oh well, you gotta see what Ashley gets and I think we're gonna show you guys on camera together. Okay, I see Ashley right there. 6.03 and I don't see Josh anywhere. Believe it or not, this is the story of my life. Waiting on Josh. Always. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Little sneaker sneak. You're going down. I don't know how you're going to beat me. How'd you do? Great. Did you really? Yes. I'm so excited. Like, I was just running short on time and I was like, I need something. Because oh. my original plan, they had none of, not a bit. Did you have a plan of something that you yes. hadn't seen yet? Well, we hadn't been to anywhere, so I just assumed that they would have it, but they did not. Oh, no. Okay, we've come across the street from Chattachuk Market. There's, uh -huh. a, there's a park here. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's and huge. so many people are out here right now just enjoying the weather because uh -huh. it's so nice. Once the sun goes down, it's not as hot. I think everybody hides inside and then it all comes out when the sun goes down. <laughs> One thing we didn't say is that you can take a, a metro directly to the market. Yeah. I don't know the line, but I saw the metro as I walked past looking for stuff. It's literally on the border of the market. Really and close. you can see the train going past from this um, from this park, so it's beautiful. So um, Ashley is extremely confident in what she got. I'm very confident. I am not very confident in what I got. Now remember, Aww, remember, it's up to you. So if you wanted to give me it's, pity points, I'm wait, okay with that. Remember, it's not a competition. Even though in my video I was like, Josh, you're going down. Here's the Sorry. thing. I, I tried to explain it a little bit earlier, but I like to be very thoughtful with gifts, and so I had this whole idea in my head, and when yeah. when they didn't have that idea and then two I don't know who I'm buying for I don't know who's winning yeah it's so hard for me to do that and that's the only way I know how to do gifts otherwise I feel like really I'm just, thoughtful yeah because I feel like I'm just getting something otherwise and I'm good under pressure like thinking of new things like not having specific idea and thinking of something new whereas like when Josh has something in his mind it's hard to deviate from that so that's nice that they wrapped it this though. was mine okay a hairbrush oh I forgot about that <laughs> Did that's you for, buy me that's for Ashley. She broke her oh, hairbrush. Thank you. That was three dollars. I actually got a gift. I didn't. I totally forgot that was even in the bag. But hello, yes, I got her a hairbrush. Wow, beautiful. It is beautiful. Wow, a whole little kit. So it's a whole little kit with um, chopsticks mm -hmm. and little bowls. Yep, little bowls for spices. I figured. Ah, and it's very Thai. It is very Thai. Now, technically, the fork and spoon are the official eating implements of Thailand. It was um, put in place by, I think, the previous king, because um, he wanted to help like modernize Thailand, and that was one of the things. Now, but it's actually made out of wood. Yes, it's made out of real wood. I forget the exact wood. So this was my entire budget. They wanted 350 baht, and yeah. I, I talked them down to 300. Good job bartering. So I didn't barter. That was. I was nervous that was about my it. Thing. So yeah, it's got like a little little spice bowls and then little stands to put your chopstick on and wooden chopsticks, enough for six people. So whomever is getting this, you can have a dinner party with six people. That's so nice. It's, it, it's a good gift, but it's not my idea. What was your idea? I really wanted to get like stationery or things for making handicrafts, like little crafty things so that I could send it to someone and they could partake in creating something uh -huh. crafty. 
but all they had was like pre-made stuff. Yeah. All they had was like finished crafts. Yeah. And I just hadn't anticipated that, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, mine is kind of like that. Oh. That's your idea, kind of. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you would have loved this store because you needed to like choose things that you what? wanted. Okay, so. You guys all pretty much know like what I got because I showed the whole process. 20 minutes to go, I came across this one place and wait, first I got a little Thai magnet that says Thailand on it and it has like a little little um, nice. cart with people in it. And the colors of Thailand are blue and red. So I and stuck white. to that theme okay. and white. Yeah. So what I got was these. What? That's cool. I got to choose whatever it said here, and the guy tinked each little letter in to the nice. leather. Nice, debossed, I believe. And I got to choose whatever little trinket I wanted them to put on it. So I chose little airplanes. And it doesn't say way away on it? No, I didn't want to put our own logo on yeah, it. Yeah. I could have. So it, it looks like it's a passport holder yeah. and a notepad. And a notepad. It says travel on it. That's yeah, with a little heart. Actually, this one has, says travel on it too. Right there. So, oh, that's cool. So that's I cool. use like the same color here oh, and the you same color them. here. Oh, That's cool. Because you get to choose what other, whatever color leather you yeah. want on here. So they had like a whole little pad and I got to choose it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And so whoever gets this had saw the whole process of the guy actually putting the little things on it and everything. The way you're gonna win these is on our Instagram, we have a photo of these items on our feet. Go to that photo and comment which one you think you would like. And then we're gonna choose yeah. two people, one from each of those, and send them the thing that they voted for. It's gonna be totally random. Um, and for legal reasons, we have to say there's nothing you have to do, no purchase necessary to blah, 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 blah. This is just a giveaway. YouTube, yeah. don't demonetize us and send us away because it's a giveaway. <laughs> But we thought it'd be really fun to give back to our community some way, some nice way. Yeah, so the only way that you can win is by going to Instagram and commenting on the last photo that we took. So the link is in the description for that as well as the top comment of this. Or if you just go to Instagram and search for Way Away Mag, it will find us. Yeah, guys, we had so much fun shopping for you and yeah. we hope to do this again. So if you actually like this type of video down below in this video, let us know, put a comment down there and say that you really enjoy these kind of shopping videos, yeah. these challenge videos. Um, yeah, we'd like to hear if you like them or if we should do away with them, but we really like buying things for you guys mm -hmm. and doing a giveaway, so hopefully you like them, fingers crossed. Well, Wayfam, I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. Best of luck to the winners and everyone else. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Today we are going to the immigration office for Thailand because we've been here almost a month and we want to stay a little bit longer. We are loving Thailand. A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us.